Okay, welcome to part three of this video series. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the chest voice, what it means, and how to access it. To hear more about head voice and falsetto, go ahead and watch my previous two videos and then come back to me here. So let's get started. What is chest voice? Well, you can imagine that it's called that for a reason. You wanna think about the lower end of your range and it's much closer to your speaking range, usually. Um, and of course it's different, a little different for everybody. Not everybody has the exact same range, obviously. So we're talking about our lower range and how it vibrates differently. I'm looking down at my notes because I wrote a lot of things down because again, these, the series of videos, it's just, it's a lot of information and I wanna make sure I'm expressing it clearly for you to understand. So the idea of using our chest voice in singing, it refers to lower, uh, richer, warmer sounds. And to be ridiculous, I call it the lumberjack voice. I'm like, come on, channel your inner lumberjack. In the head voice video, remember how I talked to you about some people can actually feel like physically feel the vibrations in their head on their hands, like if they touch their head. I don't feel that in my head voice, but I can feel the vibrations shifting through this area. I just don't actually physically feel it from touching it. I will tell you that I can feel the vibrations down here when I sing in a low, you know, lumber, I'm gonna call it the lumberjack voice. Ah, uh, I can definitely feel that. Ah, uh, isn't that ridiculous sounding? I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I hope you know that reference. If you don't, then definitely check it out because it's hilarious. When you place your hand on your chest, you will probably feel the same thing I felt. You can actually feel it just when you're speaking. So again, your chest voice is closer to your speaking voice. What we don't want is, because it's so easy to access, because it's so close to our speaking habits, we tend to get lazy and we don't think we need to support it, but we still need to be breathing properly and supporting those lower notes, especially if we want to then start shifting up into the different registers, right? It would be too dramatic and drastic if we were just like lazily singing in our jazz voice and then all of a sudden we have to shift gears and try to sing higher notes. That right there is going to create a lot of unnecessary tension and strain that we don't need and we can avoid it. We want to maintain good tone. We want to understand where it is. What I do is I think of my sound as, as settling down here, but being able to shift upward and upward again. Okay. So my sound is here. It's my lumberjack chest voice. So go ahead and place your hand on your chest. You can close your mouth on an mmm and just sing a very low, comfortable note. Mmm, just feel the vibrations. Mmm, or kind of go up and down. Mmm, I feel that. What I don't want you to do is, just like in the head voice, you don't want to go to extremes. You don't want to try to sing your lowest note. You definitely want to avoid that gravelly, gritty, tone. We don't want that. That is not good for your voice at all. We want a comfortable but clear sound. So I hope that definition of chest voice was helpful. I want you to just pay attention to it, what it feels like, and also do the same thing for your head voice. This is now going to bring me to my next video, which is going to be talking about the mixed voice. And that is going to be really fun and interesting because we are going to be utilizing our chest voice from underneath, but we're also gonna be using our head voice, of course, creating that mixed voice. So stay tuned for my next video. If you liked this video, please like it, click subscribe, check out the previous videos, let me know what you think of those, and let's move on to mixed voice.